scattered. But there's a there's a situation going on right now in the NBA where uh, the host of All the Smoke, um, Stephen Jackson, Matt Barnes, had a guest called Gilbert Gilbert Arenas. Gilbert Arenas, Matt Barnes, and Stephen A. Jackson completely trashed i don't even want to say completely trash but they weren't speaking so highly of a player that michael jordan drafted he drafted number one to the wizards his name is kwame brown kwame brown was also a laker mashallah I hear how everything's tying in mashallah he was going in uh he was a laker now it's publicly known that kwame brown was mistreated and talked down to by michael jordan they know he was meant he was drafted number one overall straight from high school okay by michael jordan he was 17 years old and you know michael jordan you saw the last dance he talks crazy to people he he beats you down to make you a champion and that tactic killed the 17 year old not necessarily killed but the ultimate story is they were calling him a bust and a bum but he bought his mama house when he was 18. I'm saying all that to check my damn self. I can't say J. Cole is trash if J. Cole is putting out platinum albums, selling out, selling out tours. Ooh, look at the alignment. J. Cole is playing basketball in Rwanda. He's playing basketball in the African League right now. Look at the alignment. You see it. Come on, man. I'm not crazy. All right. But we just have to use. I say all that stuff to say we have to use better words to describe each other. OK. One thing Kwame Brown said, he said the white man don't got to beat us down no more because we doing it to ourselves and we'll do it even more so for a check. He was going after Stephen A. Smith. He was going after Matt Barnes and, and uh, Stephen Jackson because it's so natural for us to talk bad about each other. Because we don't like a product or we don't like the service. Guys, listen, the challenge is we're going to work harder to reach for better words. If we understand that power is in the tongue, we're going to reach for better words. We already took the challenge on not calling each other black and white. We're looking, reaching in and searching for better words to describe each other. Now we have to reach for better words to describe our feelings and our emotions where it doesn't have a negative tone. So we're on the positive side. So when our mom dies, we can use our positivity that we stored up to receive positivity in what can be perceived as a negative moment, yo. It's that it's really it's really it's really that simple. It's just the willingness to search for better. That's what you get. And here we go. And um, we were on 11, 11.